Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Ami if you're new here and today I'm going to be doing a ukulele tutorial for the song Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. I covered this a few weeks ago and it seemed to do pretty well. And this song is a really great song for beginners because you're using four of the basic chords C, G, A minor, and F. So yeah, this song is awesome for people who are just starting on ukulele and people who are intermediate and advanced will find this pretty easy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys what the chords look like first, but if you already know chords and just want to know strumming patterns, and um, just singing along with me then you can just go to this timestamp right here but for those of you who don't know chords just yet it'll be C which is this this one right here and it's just the last one pretty simple and another one you'll be using is G should make that sound and it's just the last three strings you're holding on to and then you're gonna use a minor should make that sound and then F which is just adding on to the a minor sound so those are the four chords you're going to be using okay and as for the strumming pattern i think you can play this however you feel is right so you can do one strum so you could go now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here or you can strum it you could go the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all so you can do either but if you want to strum it is down down up down up down 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 up down up down 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 up down up down 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 up so that is the strumming pattern down down up down up down and basically you can switch it off you can do it just strumming once the whole way through you can strum it rhythmically the whole way through whatever feels right for you i'm going to play it the way i played it in my cover so i do the rhythmic one from the start and then just for like the last part of the chorus i do just like the one strum i'll explain it when i get there so, for the first verse, we're going to start with C, and it goes in this order. So it goes C, and then it goes G, and then it goes A minor, and then F. So that is the chord progression, C, G, A minor, F. And then there's just one part in the bridge where it just kind of like changes in terms of like the progression is the same, but the pattern changes a little bit. So I'll explain when we get there, but other than that, the verse and the chorus are always going to be the same exact chord progression. Starting off with C. So I'll go really slow. I'm going to start with the first verse. So it goes with I'm going under. So we're just going to go through. I'm going to tell you what the next chord is while we play. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going under and this G. Time I fear there's no one to A minor. Save me. And we're going to F. Back to C. This all or nothing really G. Got a way of driving me. A minor. last part that goes pain I like to just finish it off there and then I go back into the strumming now the day bleeds and then I go back into the strumming so that part is just kind of like I don't know I guess it's just kind of like for dramatic effect I guess so it goes I guess I kind of like the way you numbed all the pain now the day bleeds and then you go back so Basically, I strum pretty much the whole thing, like I said, except for the last part. So you can play it just by strumming it once if that's easier for you, whatever you prefer. So let's just jump into the chorus. So chorus is the same chord progression, and I'm going to keep rhythmically strumming it, but whatever works. So I'm going to count you into it. One, two, three. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. like earlier I just kind of strum it and finish it off going back into it and then yeah just for like kind of like a good transition I guess so basically that's how you do the first verse and chorus if you got through that it's just the exact same for the second verse and the second time around chorus so we're just gonna go through it without stopping I'm just gonna go right into it and then we'll stop at the bridge and I'll explain the bridge a little bit for you guys I'm gonna count you into it we're gonna go into the second verse and second chorus um, without stopping so it goes starts with I'm going under and 
So let's see. Ready? One, two, three, four. pattern but same chord progression if that makes sense so after you go someone someone you love and then you go back into you're finishing on f and then instead of going to c again you're going to go to a minor and then you're going to go to f close my eyes and it hurts and then you're going to c sometimes and then g fall into your so it's just that part the transition from the second time around chorus to the bridge is a little bit different so when you finish on kind of kind of used to be someone you loved you're instead of going to C you're going to go to A minor and then F and then you're going to go back into the regular chord progression of C G A minor F so I was getting kind of used to be someone you loved and the A minor and I F tend to close my eyes when it C hurts sometimes I G fall stop the strumming and from this part the chorus repeats twice so the first time around I just strum it and play it like strum it once and then when it goes back into the second time around the last last chorus I strum it again so let's just do the bridge um, without stopping so here we go starts with a minor ready one two three four and I tend to close my eyes when it hurts back to the chorus for now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all i let my guard down then i pull her up i was getting kind of used to being someone you loved now the day bleeds You can just play it however you want to. I just did it that way to kind of like add a little dramatic effect with the going back into the strumming kind of thing. But you can play it however is easiest and however works best for you. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much how you play the entire song of Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. This song is so beautiful. And I think it's great that you can play it with just the regular old ukulele four chords. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning and thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn any other ukulele songs, make sure you check out my ukulele tutorial playlist. I have lots of tutorials on there for you guys to watch. So make sure you come check me out over there. I have a music account and a personal Instagram account and I post on my music account every single day. I do duets with like other reels. I try little one breath challenges and things like that. I do lots of fun things over there so make sure you check me out and I just post like my random life stuff on my personal account but yeah and then I also have a Facebook account and a website so make sure you go check those out. I have lots of music out. I have how many songs do I have out right now? I have five from last year, 
five from this year. Yeah, so I have 10 songs out currently. So make sure you check me out on Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere you like to stream your music. Um, if you just look up Ami Hallie Ishii, you can stream my music there. So, but yeah, I have a brand new song coming very soon. So make sure you stay updated with me everywhere so you know when it comes out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!